Hey, welcome back to my new video. In today's video, you'll be learning how to create a motion graphics animation in After Effects. All right, here I am in a new composition. Let's go ahead and create a new solid for the background. BG for background. Okay, and you can lock the background. And let's get rid of this. And let's go ahead and create a text, which is welcome. So align it to the center. The way you get this welcome is you can just reverse this from a solid fill to just a stroke. All right. So once you have that, just go ahead and duplicate this, change it to design, and you can just reverse this text back and you can scale it up. Hit W on the keyboard to bring up the rotation and rotate it like this. V for the selection tool and just place it somewhere here. You can just increase it if you want. Alright, I'll just keep it somewhere here. Enable a 3D layer for these two text layers. Alright, let's go to layer new and create a new camera. Okay, and let's create a null object and make it a 3D layer and select the camera and pick with this to the null so that wherever we move the null object, the camera follows. All right. So once you have that, let's go ahead and animate this camera right away by selecting on the null, hit P on the keyboard, and holding down Shift on the keyboard, hit page down twice, one, two, set a keyframe, and go back, page up to go back to the first keyframe, and move this up somewhere here so it comes down like this so select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and easy ease or f9 on the keyboard and go to the graph here and select these points and change like this so select this welcome text collapse this go to animate and add a position and go down let's make some room here go down and here in the position you can just increase it somewhere here and collapse this range selector and collapse this advance and change this shape to ramp up and go to the first frame set this offset to a negative 100 set a keyframe hold on shift and hit page down twice and set this back to hundred so go down somewhere here in the easy ease sorry is high set this to 40 and is low to 60 so let's see what we have here all right let's go ahead with the camera animation so once you have this keyframe set you have to hold the keyframe for a while so hold down shift on the keyboard and page down thrice three times one two three and set a blank keyframe that will hold the keyframe and after that you just have to go and press page down two times while holding down shift so hold down shift and page down twice and shift this to the right side and duplicate the text control D and you can shift the position of the text here reverse the color because we want a solid color so let's rename this motion I'm just doing a motion designer intro so you can just type in your own designer and let's get this reverse again so let's go back to the original example as you can see here we have some shape animation so let's go ahead and create that create a new composition but this time I'm going to 500 pixel width and 1920 height so grab a pen tool with no fill and stroke whatever color you like let's draw a mask sorry let's draw a shape here click here hold down shift and click on the top you can increase the stroke size maybe at 300 and collapse this shape go to add and add a trim path all right so we're going to animate the trim path so set this and to zero and start to zero set a keyframe go three times which is hold down shift and page down three times and set this back to 100 and you can shift the keyframes for the start offset this 
select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy is go to the graph and you can change the graph something like this all right so let's rename this shape one let's bring this shape one inside the composition and make sure to turn it a 3d layer and let's see let's place it somewhere here all right all you have to do is adjust the timing of this shape animation to where you want so select the select the text tool and just type in plus like that just reverse this and you can just change it to medium and you can just you know pick the color of this and go to the text and animate and add a rotation to this you can just rotate it like this make this a 3d layer as well you can just position somewhere here or you can even decrease the size and adjust like this and we want this to reveal when the text slides in right so go to the effects and presets and type in type so I'll drop this typewriter somewhere here and it types in like that so I think that's too slow so select the text layer hit U on the keyboard to bring up the keyframes you can bring these keyframes closer to make the animation faster so let's see what we have it's too fast it's too early maybe somewhere here all right that's looking great so let's I think let's change this text back to black black right so let's change the, the design a little bit here all right so once it slides to the right side let me just drag in the shape one again and make it a 3d but this time let's move it somewhere here but this time I'm gonna rotate it this and make it smaller maybe as you can see here the motion of the camera does not go well with this uh, movement of the shape animation so what I'm gonna do is delete this well let, let's just skip the shape layer here and go to the project panel and select this shape one control D to duplicate so go inside this and let's make this animation faster so select all the keyframes hold down alt and while holding down alt on the keyboard just select the last keyframe and push it closer so the animation will be faster like that so go to the touch comp and we have to replace this shape one with this shape two so all you have to do is select the shape one here hold down alt and drag and drop it on top of that so we replace that and after that let's grab a pen tool and draw a line here like that that's too big let's decrease the stroke size and move this shape just below the text right there is motion somewhere here and and let's do the same for this let's go and uh, collapse this and go to add a chim path and this time I'm going to animate just the end right so set a keyframe go two times and set it to 100 select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and easy is all right once you have set that let's go and select the null object hit U, and let's move on with the camera animation so let's set the play hat in this keyframe and we are gonna hold the keyframe once again so the same rule applies hold down shift on the keyboard page down one two three and set a keyframe blank keyframe and go two times page down and this time I'm gonna go down here so I forgot to turn on the 3d layer for this so let's we're gonna fix that in a while let's move it somewhere here all right, so let's turn this at 3D. Where is it? The shape here. So let's turn this at 3D. And once you make it that 3D layer, you have to go and reposition this. 
because once you turn that at 3D layer, it goes back to where we start off, somewhere here. So we have to reposition everything and duplicate the text one more time. The motion, Control D, and move it down here. So A, which is After Effects, scale it up, Control D, make it small, and I don't know. Let's make it like this. Right, looks better like this. So select this two and reposition it in the middle. So, so you can just turn on this title action save. So and that way you know where is the middle. Let's turn back that off. So let's bring the shape one inside again and make it a 3D layer. Move it here and shift this timing over here. This time it's gonna go down. So rotate it like this somewhere here. And that's too fast. Oops, that's too slow again. Maybe somewhere here. All right, that's totally fine. Let's select the text again and let's type in plus. If you want this this point to the center, you can just hold down Control Alt and Home. So in that way, this is in the center. So I'll reverse this and maybe change the color to this color, right? And you can just increase this stroke if you want, like that, and move this just below the text. So you have this. Maybe we're gonna change this to medium. I think that that looks better. So let's animate this. So at this point, I forgot to turn this a 3D layer again, so go back and position this. So go to the first keyframe of this layer and hit S, hold down Shift and hit Page Down twice and set a keyframe. Go back to the first and set this to zero. So select all the keyframes, right click Keyframe Assistant, easy ease, go to the graph and Let's change it like this. All right. All right, that's looking great. Now that we have the scale animation, let's rotate the animation. So hold down Shift and R to bring up the rotation. And we're gonna animate this, All right? So from a zero, set a keyframe, one, two, and maybe 60, like that. Right, 60 and 1, 2, and maybe back to, I don't know, 3, 15 or so. Goes back. Maybe that's too much. Let's decrease it somewhere here. All right, let's select all this. Right click keyframe assistant, is ease. Go to the graph, and you know, you can just change it like this. Hmm. All right, that's looking fine. Or right, let's move on to the next one. So select this null object. Hit U to bring up the keyframes. Maybe we're gonna adjust the timing of this. Maybe a little back once it gets there. All right, that's fine. All right, let's make a keyframe hold one two three so keyframe and one two and you know move it down or left or right depending on what you want maybe somewhere here maybe I want to adjust this slightly all right that's fine so let's duplicate the text one more time here which is uh, AE, right? So duplicate this, move it down, say subscribe. All right, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can always subscribe to my channel to, to get more updates. And you can also hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. All right, so back to the tutorial. So you have this and that and the subscribe button, right? So I'm not gonna do 
anything with the subscribe button you can just uh, you know add a add a text animation and you can also animate yeah, a shape and you can all do all those fancy stuff so I'm not gonna do it in this tutorial so after you're done with that you can just add this you know duplicate what I did was add this somewhere here and change it back like this and you can even you know change the size because uh, we need some you know randomness in the scenes and shift this oops hit U to reveal the keyframes also you can add another you know plus like that and you can just add the shape to make it a 3d layer or you can just rotate it down right so what I did in the original example was I added a little you know background dots there so I'll show you how to do that real quick here go to the tutorials and just type type any text design once again and make it a 3d layer go just put the text just above the background layer and you can just skate it way up way way up like this right I think that's the max you can scale you can just scale it up like this and what I'm gonna do is go to the effects and presets and type in CC ball CC ball action and drop this here so um, just solo this all right let's work with the ball size decrease the ball size and you can just increase the ball spacing like this increase the ball spacing you might also increase the ball size something like this or you can make it smaller and spacing to something like that should do fine let's unsolo this and you can see there you can decrease this ball size as well if you want something like that or you can increase the ball size and decrease the opacity of the layer like that all right so that is how i create this you can go and you know drop the shape and you know duplicate and do some variation on the scale you can make it smaller you can make it bigger and you can do all those things you want so once everything is set and you're out to render it out don't forget to turn on the motion blur for the layers and for the composition because as you can see here when the camera moves when you if you have a motion blur it it looks good like this so without a motion blur it's just boring you know so just turn on the motion blur that motion blur you know makes it really good you know so take your time to design and i believe you'll be able to create more you know good looking design than what i'm doing here so i hope you learned something from this tutorial if you like the video give a thumbs up and if you have any doubts you can just leave a comment in the comment section down below so make sure to check out these two videos as well this is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video.